Hey booze, and we got another full build 2v2 test for you. So we got Majin Buu here with Super Plus One Power Body and Launch Support on Vegeta AI. Tagged with Oob with his Q Plus Two Super Minus One Capito Secret Art Spiritual Control and Fighting Spirit on Rakum AI, a B1 build, versus Majin Buu with a defensive B2 AI of uh, defense plus three attack minus one launch support ignition fighting spirit and light body on Vegeta AI. Pretty nice build there. And Oob. Similar build of Q plus two super minus one secret art I mean secret measures. Kabito secret oh wait, I think I messed that up. I think it was supposed to be uh Yeah, I messed that up. Hold on, be right back, I messed it up. Alright, I, I I fixed it, I fixed it. <laughs> It's key plus two super minus one Kibito secret art, spiritual control and fighting spirit. I was like, wait a minute, secret measures and Kibito kind of secret? That's not right. With Yajirobe AI. All right, so let's do this, or let's do this. <laughs> so it's testing the power body of Majin Buu compared to just a normal uh, defensive B2 build, and then of course we're seeing which AI would be better for uh, Oob when it comes to his B1 build, which was definitely impressive in the last test. As you can see, the power body build is pretty much putting up a good melee game, while the defensive B2 really hasn't been able to do much of anything. A launch support on, uh, on Majin Buu is always welcome. Super Kamehameha misses from the power body. Super Kamehameha connects full power, full charge. Power body just ate that from defensive B2. Super Kamehameha again from defensive B2. He's like, uh-uh, you wait, you thought I was done? Here's another one. Of the melee game from the defensive B2 is not being saved. Majin Buu is not even carrying power body. Majin Buu is not even carrying. But now since, uh... The defensive one is down a bar, fighting spirit and ignition go into effect. So far the power body really hasn't been doing much, just kind of throwing a couple punches and standing there. Flame shower breath from the defensive B2. Super Kamehameha from defensive B2, dodged by power body. Sleep, he's sleeping, stop him, stop him. It con it connects with sleep and then he blocks the super kamehameha and then throws the kamehameha in super b2's face. A grab from defensive b2. Charge right is up to uh, what two right now on defensive b2. And the potty, power body build is showing that he really does not care about the melee game. Yet the, but the defensive B2 doesn't care about the rush blast game because he has light body. It's a close one, but it looks like... I don't know. I was gonna, oh, sleep! Sleep! Is he going to get it off? Yes, he gets it off. Grabbing a throw from power body build. Charging up. Super Kamehameha from power body build does not connect. They're making this fight last way longer than it should have. Both of them got off sleep. Defensive B2 charging on max power. Super Kamehameha from power body dodge. Angry explosion and ultimate. And it's over for power body. And here comes, I believe this is Raccoon AI. With his B1 build. A grab from defensive B2 Majin Buu. I guess I can say Majin Buu and Oob now, now since they're different characters. I'm right, about to say Raccoon, what happened to that, that groove that you had before? I want to see some of that. It's kind of just... Not really doing much right now. Super Kamehameha misses. 
Boob charging up. Behind Majin Buu. Or a, a basic melee combo. Charge, trying to charge the Mac Tower. Majin Buu charging up. Majin Buu gets him with the grab. Followed by Super Kamehameha. Misses. Charge way too long. Super Kamehameha. We got a high speed clash here. Who's going to win it? Who wins it? And Majin Buu is down for 9.3k points of damage. So here comes Yajirobe. Recruitment down the bar. BBP from Yajirobe connects. For 7k points of damage. Power up to the very limit. Both of them at max power because of it. Got Yajirobe on the offensive. Like look at that melee combo. A little bit of juggling from Yajirobe. And Yajirobe is not done. BBP from Raccoon. Dodged by Yajirobe. And Ultimate connects. And Yajirobe wins it. That was good. That was good. I I'm leaning more to Yajirobe, but I don't know. We got a rematch here. So maybe, maybe they can pull something out of the hat. So B2 Defensive and Yajirobe beat Power Body and Raccoon. Super Kamehameha from B2, but is dodged. Well, really, just kind of misses. A grab from Power Body. Power Body charging. Not much is happening right now. The thing with the thing with defense B2 is that he doesn't really get in much melee game. I mean, he knows when to do the melee game, but it's not really that wise to go against the power body, of course. Both charging up. A dodge. Dodge. Flame Shower Breath from Power Body connects for 7.3k points of damage. Super Kamehameha connects fully charged for 11,000 points of damage. Super Kamehameha again. I'm actually liking this build for the defensive B2. I think that it's actually working well. He likes to throw out B2s. Defense is always nice. Really don't care about his melee game. I really think that the four points for power body is kind of a waste. I think we should kind of scrap that idea and give it some more of a melee or maybe give it to like Evil Boo. I think Evil Boo would use it well in the melee game when he goes on the melee offensive. Or if Majin Boo, you know, sometimes he might go on the melee offensive and give it to him, but it's not really a, a B2 kind of Patara. You know, I'd much rather him have light body and, you know, stay away, charge up not be phased by uh, Rush Blast. Both of them charging. Super Kamehameha from B2 connects for almost 9k of damage. Super Kamehameha again! Super Kamehameha from Power Body! Stop! Stop! You two stop! You go too fast! It's hard to commentate! <laughs> yeah, I think we win. Kalkasin from Power Body connects but doesn't really optimize with it. You know, the launch support Plus the Fighting Spirit, both of them max power, is doing really well. A little bit of juggling here. Super Kamehameha from... Ah! From freaking B2 connects, fully charged, with Ignition, 1.5k points of damage. Super Kamehameha launched in Majin Buu's face this time, and Majin Buu is down. Alright, well... You both ate it, so. Alright, and then once again, we got a fight between uh, B1 Rakum and B1 Yajirobe. Yajirobe starts it off. Yajirobe loves that BBP. And he, he can love it all he wants. Beautiful. Connects. Charging up to max power. Rakum with the BBP. Dodged by... Y I mean, Yajirobe with the BBP dodge by Raccoon. BBP again by Yajirobe. Dodged again. BBP from Raccoon. Connects. For 7.4k points of damage. Wild Sense from Raccoon. Dodge from Yajirobe. So Raccoon has to win this to take this to round 3. If not, then it's only going to be 2-0. Oh. 
Well, oh, and two. It really depends on which side you're looking at it from. Pop to the very limit from Yajirobe. Is he gonna do anything with it? Super Kamehameha! Misses. Charging at 2.5 times. Wow, Raccoon is at three times the charge speed right now. Super Kamehameha misses. Power up to the very limit, does not connect, but then tries to do a wild sense right after not connecting. Adorobi still has that charge penalty. Super Kamehameha! We have a beam struggle here. We gotta struggle, people. Who wins it? Yajirobe wins. 1.2k points of damage. Powers up to the very limit. I think it may be over. I think it may be over. Yes, it's over. And with a 2-0 victory, B defensive B2 and Yajirobe win. Alright, so I hope that you found this test useful. I did. I think that we should go ahead, take that build, that defensive B2 build, and put it in the Majin Buu archive. And I think we should just kind of step away from the whole... The, power body b2 it really doesn't seem like it's working and it really doesn't seem like vegeta ai is doing really well with it but that power, that defensive b2 that was impressive lots of kamehamehas pretty good melee game got off asleep uh pretty good pretty good and i think we pretty much know who we're gonna go with with the b1 i think yajirobe has shown himself more than uh Rakum, so i think yajirobe is the winner so i believe that's that's all three builds for oob i think we're pretty much done with oob we probably we got a couple more to do with Majin Buu. We need some uh, Kid Buu testing to do, of course. Evil Buu. Uh, Gotenks Buu is looking pretty fun. So we're, we're getting done with a lot of testing. It's still early in the preseason. And we're, we're wrapping up a lot of things. So I hope this test is helpful. Thank you for supporting me as your tester once again. And looking forward to doing some more tests for you. Thanks for watching.